Roger Huerta wins again. I'm a fighter. I've been, I've been fighting since I was five years old. You know, I've been fighting my whole life, and it's, it's just, it's in my blood. That is a very impressive victory for Roger Huerta. I love training. I love fighting. I just love it. The desire of, of competing. I take this sport very seriously. This is my job. This is I've dedicated my whole life to this. Yeah, it was an honor to be on SI. The whole cover boy of Sports Illustrated, the SI cover boy, this and that. I've, a lot of people have been on SI. You know what I mean? It's like, they don't call them, oh, the SI cover boy. Roger Huerta is 5-0 in the UFC. I've worked my butt off to get where I am today. And that's what everybody needs to understand is I, I'm more than ready to become the world champion and not being the cover boy of Sports Illustrated. I beat the El Matador and who was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. People are going to look at me and be like, who's this guy with the crazy hair? I feed off the crowd. When people hear that music, they see me coming down, they know Clay Guida is ready to get it on. I'm gonna take this fight to the ground. I'm gonna expose his ground game. He doesn't like being on his back. I'm gonna keep him there for 15 minutes if it takes that long. There's no possible way that Clay can beat me. Not standing, not on the ground, not wrestling, nothing. I'm gonna take everything out on Roger's face and he's gonna pay dearly for it. That is all Clay is to me, a stepping stone. Roger starts over from the beginning after I'm done with him. Being the number one contender, being the world champion for the UFC in the lightweight division, that is my goal, that is my dream, and that's what I'm gonna do. Twenty-six years old today, the carpenter, Clay Guida, knows that a win tonight would be the most magnificent victory of his mixed martial arts career. He's very strong, he has great cardio, he's an excellent wrestler, and he loves to go after those takedowns. And Kenny, as you all know, relentless in his takedowns is Guida, and that can be exhausting. Uh, absolutely, I think that's gonna that's what this fight's gonna come down to is who's gonna win that wrestling. Um, I think both of them would admit that they're not strongest on their back. So the person who can get on top and stay on top is gonna win this fight. Joe, the one thing we did see from Guida in his win over Marcus Aurelio was he's willing to come over the top with that right and look for a knockout as well. Yeah, I mean, he, he's game in all aspects. He's a very tough guy and very important. He's been in the big show before many, many times against tough guys and not even just the UFC. He also has a victory over Josh Thompson at Strike Force in a huge 18,000 seat place where it was packed. So he's been in the main event before. He's been in front of a bunch of people before. He's, he's, he's been there. He's, he's fought really tough competition. This is the toughest fight for sure Roger Huerta has ever had in his mixed martial arts career. This is a man who actually has more career victories than his opponent tonight, Roger Huerta. Guido with 22 overall, Huerta with 21. Guido split his first six mixed martial arts fights then went on to win 15 straight. And Kenny, there's so many things that can happen inside the octagon. That in itself is absolutely astounding. Oh, absolutely. You, you can't train for the type of experience that these two have. Uh, it's something you just can't train for. And, and that means uh, he comes in here with a lot of mental focus, uh, preparation, experience, and maturity. And a crazy routine to get started. <laughs> Joey Gilbert and the guys, Gilbert Grappling and Team Pitbull. Joey Gilbert, BJ Penn's first UFC opponent, and here he is, play the Carpenter Guida. That's a wild dude right there. He fights the way he looks. <laughs> and he is one of the nicest young men you will meet. Oh, one of the coolest guys ever. Instructions from Big John McCarthy, and his opponent is set to enter. as well known and popular as Roger Huerta. 
Perhaps it's like Joe said, it's, you know, his good looks early on. Perhaps it's his story of how he overcame so much adversity. Perhaps it's the fact he graced the cover of Sports Illustrated. Kenny, maybe it's a combination of all of these things. But, but throw all that away, and you still have a man in Roger Huerta who has been defeated just one time in 23 career mixed martial arts competitions. Well, what's made him popular is his style of fighting. I mean, the guy is constantly going forward. He fights the, you know, he fights to finish the fight. I mean, he's an exciting fighter. That, at the end of the day, is what's going to bring people in the seats and going to want to watch him uh, fight. Joe, is that perhaps the difference in this fight? Is that Huerta has shown us before that he can finish fights, where we have not seen that from Clay Guida, other than his debut against Justin James. His last three fights have gone to a decision. Well, you got to look at who he fought in his last three fights. Great Dean point. Thomas, Tyson Griffin, and Marcus Aurelio, three of the top 155-pound fighters in the world. That's the big difference, in my opinion, is the experience. Ty Clay Guida has fought guys that are at the top of the mountain. Roger Huerta has not yet. In fighting Alberto Crane, he's fighting a jiu-jitsu guy that is just starting mixed martial arts. In fighting, you know, Doug Evans, he's fighting a good wrestler who is getting his first fight in the octagon. This is, for sure, his biggest test, but, you know, I, I think Roger Huerta's up to it. I think he's right up there with Clay Guida as far as terms of skill-wise, and I think he's a little bit larger. The big question is, who's got the better wrestling? I think Clay Guida thinks he has the better wrestling. He has a better wrestling pedigree, and I think he believes he's going to be able to win the fight because of that. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Roger Huerta, 24 years old. Clay Guida, 26 years old. Huerta is two inches taller. Roger Huerta will enjoy a two-inch reach advantage. For the official introductions of this, our main event of the evening, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC bout is sectioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission with Chairman John Bailey and Commissioner Skip Babancino Jr., Bill D. Brady, T.J. Day, and Pat Lundball, and Executive Director Keith Kaiser. Our doctors at Octagon side are Steve Brown, David Watson, William Berliner, and Al Capanna. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening. Two of the finest UFC welterweight warriors have now entered the octagon to face off against each other here. And at the Palms Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And now, it's time! Three rounds in the UFC. The welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins with five losses. Standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Johnsburg, Illinois. Play the competition. And now the lightweight fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins with one loss. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Roger El Matabo And when the action begins, our referee in charge in the octagon is Big John McCarthy. All right, gentlemen, I expect a good, clean, hard fight. You went over the rules in your locker rooms. Do I have any questions from you, Clay? Any questions from you, Roger? I want you to touch glove. Go back to your corners. Let's get it on. Roger Huerta. Clay Guida. Nobody better in the history of the UFC inside the octagon is a referee than Big John uh, McCarthy. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Our main event is underway. Guida the South. Guida in the normal stance. In the southpaw stance is Roger Huerta. High kick. Mike Goldberg, Kenny Florian, Joe Rogan. Now, Kenny, uh, as far as stand-up, I would give Roger Huerta the advantage. you agree with that? Uh, I do. I agree with that. He seems more comfortable. Uh, Clay Guida uses his strikes more to get in, enter, get to the clinch, set up a double leg takeout like he's doing right now. Can he get it? He just missed with the uppercut. 
on his way to that takedown attempt. Kind of bloodied up where to see him uh, cleaning out his nose a little bit. But this is where Roger needs to be careful when he's standing up. He tends to be a little bit too aggressive, comes a little forward with his hips forward a little bit too much. He's going to have to keep his hips back a little bit as he comes forward and tries to strike with Clay. Can Clay Guida be submitted by, well, now they're standing up. Let's Roger see if it goes back, back down. His feet. Yep, good job by Roger Huerta scrambling. This is where Clay needs to keep wow, the fight. Big takedown. Clay's going to get his takedowns up against the fence. You can't sprawl up against the fence. Clay's a master at getting people to get pinned up against there and work his double and single legs. Now, we said earlier, neither one of these guys likes to be on their back. No. Nope. And uh, Roger Huerta is the one who's tasting it first. Kenny, how, how big a deal is it to be fighting here in the, the, the main event for the first time? How much more pressure do you think it is on these guys? It, it's huge. Uh, it could definitely, it could get to a fighter's head. You know, you think it's a big deal, and, and all of a sudden, you know, it hits you. You realize uh, what's at stake. Um, you know, both these guys want to be champions in this division. Um, you know, it, it's a very competitive division. You're under the lights. You're the final fight of the night. A lot, you know, uh, there's a lot of pressure in there. In, in there. Guida absolutely relentless. Roger Huerta to the light, trying to finish it. Roger Huerta looking for a submission. Guida's okay, now he's trying to take his back. Guida transitioned to half guard a moment ago. Now he's gonna need the midsection of Roger Huerta. Roger's trying to stand up. Clay's got no hooks though. Huerta able to scramble. And now he'll take top position for the first time. This is where Roger does most of his best work, right here on top and down of power. Oh, good oh. knee. Good job by Roger. And Capture by Guida. Done, done. The, the, the knee to a downed opponent. Yes, the knee to a downed opponent. The knee to the ground. Okay. It See? looked like the same position, but it wasn't. Clay Guida's feet were on the ground. Roger had a knee on the ground. That's a warning from John McCarthy. Take a look at it. You okay? You sure you're okay? All right. You see Roger had one knee to the ground there, which is an illegal strike. Back to the feet. Southpaw Huerta. Good right hand by Huerta. And another one. Roger Huerta told me he's emotional, he's hungry, he's supposed to see, he's different mentally for this fight than he has been in the past. Oh, good head kick. Roger's playing a, a good strategy right here. As a southpaw, he's throwing all the right strikes right now. He just got hit by Guida and another right. Guida has power. It makes you wonder how Guida can even see with all that hair on his face. Oh, man, Guida looking for the hook. And a jab catches Huerta. Guida doing a good job with the hands. Roger's got to look to switch out of this. He's going for a Kimura right now. Kenny, the pace that Clay Guida keeps in a fight is probably his most impressive quality. Agree or disagree? Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, Clay Guida keeps that same. Clay Guida and Roger Huerta both have that same pace, that same mentality. And we're seeing a very dynamic, fast-paced fight right now. That's going back and forth. Guida trying to take the back of Huerta. Huerta, well, he's got that one hook in now. Guida's got both hooks in. He's flattening Roger out. Roger trying to stay calm in this dangerous position. This is real dangerous for Roger. But Clay's got to be careful here that Roger doesn't spin around and get on top in his guard. Roger's got a good defense right now. He's pulling down on that form, which you want to do to defend the choke. He's looking to turn around, get back on top, and try to work some ground upon of his own. And Kenny, conversely, what does Guida want to do? Well, now he's lost it. There it goes. There's what he did want to do is let him loose. Exactly. You he, he have to stay tight on someone's back. You got to stay cheek to cheek with him, not allow him to turn and spin out. And Guida, in his anxiousness, gave up his back. He's got to be careful. His arm's stuck in there. He can turn this into an arm by himself. 20 seconds remains in round number one. Uh, this is what I mean here. Roger got a little overly aggressive, okay? Over, almost getting on lock here, but he could have easily kept, stayed on top and, and kept that top position. What a great round one here in our main event of the evening. One of the original Ultimate Fighters, the winner in the light heavyweight division of the Ultimate Fighter 1.
Forrest Griffin, Roger Huerta, Clay Guida, round two, and here we go. He's Look at these guys go one to and Clay Guida again with the takedown. And that has been the fight so far. Clay getting takedown after takedown. And the amazing thing is Huerta's background, Joe, is wrestling. He wrestled at Augsburg College and then met Dave Manet in the Twin Cities and then became a mixed martial artist. But but his forte and his base is also wrestling, but Guida able to take him down almost at will. I think another key to this fight has been the experience and what we talked about before. Now here's the situation. Oh, nice job by Huerta. Guida had to be cautious there, Kenny, that he didn't knee Roger Huerta in the head again when Roger was down. Roger utilized great strategy by keeping that knee down. Absolutely. You can see the experience of Huerta. Guida learned from his first, the first time they did that in the first round, waited, and actually paid for an uppercut. Paid for it with an uppercut. Big left hand a moment ago. Head kick. Roger with the inside leg kick that Dave Manet told him to look for. And you know what? Even if Guida is catching these on the arms, they are hurting. It's very difficult going against a southpaw, seeing that left leg come around. That, Roger's doing a great strategy right here. How would you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I know a southpaw too. I know you do. Good <laughs> takedown by Guida. Again, Guida. Guida is dominating these rounds with those takedowns. That's got to play in the judges. And remember, this is not a title fight, so it is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Clay's doing a good job of baiting him into the striking game. He's changing his levels beautifully and getting him down with that double leg. And once he has him down, there's no rest. Constant punches, constant movement by Clay Guida. Kenny, much like Clay Guida, you have fought the best in your weight division, in your UFC career. How much confidence does that give you, win or lose, when you know you're going up against other elitists? Got his back again. It keeps you calm, it keeps you the confidence going, knowing that whoever comes your way, if you face the toughest you know, in, in your division, whoever comes your way, you're gonna be ready for it and you're gonna use that experience in that next fight. And we can see it, Joe, from Guida so far. He is consistently out-wrestling Roger Huerta in these exchanges. This is what he had to do. This is what this fight was going to come down to. Who is going to win the wrestling? So far, Clay Guida has the answer. Guida with the jab. Huerta catches another one. Huerta trying to put combinations together, though, but he continues to eat the jab. Clay needs to use more head movement. He's getting caught with those oh, straight punches. Huerta frustrated. You see the look in his face there, Kenny. He's frustrated because he cannot prevent Clay Guida from taking him down. He got hit with some big shots there too, Mike. Clay Guida is the, is the quicker fighter. He's the, he's the better wrestler. He he that's been the difference so far. He was the betting favorite coming into this fight, and that surprised a lot of people considering the hype behind Roger Huerta. But if you look at who these guys have faced, it makes sense. Well, I said at the very top of the show, Joe, and Kenny, I said that Roger Huerta tonight can validate his stardom and silence the critics. It might not happen, though, if Guida continues to fight the way he is. Absolutely. Uh, Guida's keeping an unbelievable pace. He's been consistent with his takedowns. He's out-wrestling Roger right now. Roger needs to come up with an answer for his takedowns. John Shirk, the champion. BJ Penn, Joe Stevenson to fight for a title in the lightweight division soon, yourself included. You know, Tyson Griffin, Frankie oh, Edgar, and big combinations by Huerta. Yeah, throwing down. Both guys land there. Matt oh, Danzig right right joining oh, the party tonight. Huerta is in big trouble. He got rocked by Guida. Huerta got rocked. He was in big trouble right there. Right. Shoulder slams. Roger's doing a good job of holding him, holding him down, stopping the ground and pound, and now Guida's right back at it again. 37 seconds left in the round. And this is Clay Guida's style, relentless striker when he's on top. How did Huerta make it through that right that just crushed him? He passed, nope. Almost, Almost to the full now. Oh, big right hand again. Huerta's taking some shots. He needs to put his feet in the hips, push away and reset, and get back to his feet. Huge survival by Huerta. 
there's a big right hand from Clay Guida that really rocked Roger Huerta. You see that again. Roger was badly hurt by that punch, and Clay relentless with the elbows and the hammer strikes yeah, after that. Round. Take the final round. Are you ready? Back it up. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Let's go. Let's get it on. Third and final round. Another right hand by Clay Guida. Huerta wants to oh, keep this fight kick in the by feet. Huerta. Oh, and the knee. Choke. He's got it underneath the neck. Queen is in trouble. Queen is in big trouble here. It changes really quick out there. One punch, one kick, one knee. That's all it takes to change the pace of the fight. Let's take a look at it. And here's the end. This is after he was already hurt. You see Roger spins around, gets his back, sinks the hooks in, gets the choke underneath the neck, and just Clay Guida forced to tap. Two rounds in the hole. It looked like he was going to lose a decision. And you know, in between rounds, Guida's corner said, you're leading on the scorecards. Just win this round. But he couldn't. Roger Huerta validates his stardom. What a great main event with our official decision, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big hand for these two UFC lightweight warriors. Big John McCarthy is called to stop to this contest at 51 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Roger El Matador! Huerta! To survive and persevere in what he's gone through in life, you can see why Roger Huerta is so emotional in victory here tonight. Joe Rogan has the winner. All right, I'm here with the winner, Roger Huerta. Now, Roger, this is the biggest test of your entire career. Very rough going for you for the first two rounds, but you came through in the third. Talk us through the fight. First thing, Joe, again, I want to say thank you, God, for everything you've done for me, man. Everything that you've done for me. I, my mom, Joe Ramirez, you're out there somewhere. I love you to death. She's my adopted mom, and you know what, man? The truth is, We've, we've trained but like hard. We train hard. That's not. That's it. You know. And I just want to say thank all you guys for coming out. Seriously, you guys are the number one fans of the like the UFC. Like this is an amazing sport, and I'm just glad that it's grown the way it's growing, and, and it gives us opportunities to guys like me and Clay and everybody else that's around. You know, in, in mixed martial arts to to be a part of. The other, you know, it's just man. I don't know, dude. That that, that guy is amazing. He's tough. I gotta give him nothing but props, man. That guy's great. You, you know what? It was an amazing display of courage by you two. Were you ever discouraged after the first two rounds? It looked like it wasn't going your way. Hell no, man. That's Mexican rasa for you, buddy. <laughs> we always keep coming back for more. All right, man. Take a look at the big screen and talk us through some of this action. Amazing fight. We're throwing, man. We're going at it hard. And I, you know, Clay is a tough dude. Very, really, really tough dude. He was just got caught and uh, you know what man I kept coming back and kept fighting and that's what MMA is about man and you put us in here we're gonna put on a great fight I don't even know about the R Ricky Haddon fight over there and, and Mayweather but uh obviously the UFC is the number one sport in the world baby all right listen phenomenal fight congratulations the biggest win of your career we look forward to nothing but great things from you in the future one more thing Joe if you guys I'm starting to a, 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 it's called MyFightsForKids.com. Donate a dollar, two dollars. It's for a charity, you know. It's like to help, you know, kids that don't have anything and whatnot, and just to start something going, especially like an MMA, mixed martial arts. I also want to say well, another thing. 
Quiero traer el UFC para México. I want the UFC. I want to bring the UFC to Mexico. Roger Huerta, ladies and gentlemen. He knows about a fight for kids. What a great start. What a great charity. Here's Joe again with Clay Guida. All right, I'm here with Clay Guida. Clay, it was an amazing fight, first of all. The first two rounds went completely your way. It looks like you got caught at the beginning of the third round. How bad were you hurt? Uh, evidently, I was rocked pretty well. Um, I want to congratulate Roger. He's a champion. He's a warrior. It's an honor to fight him. I thought I had the first couple of rounds, and he came back. He's got a lot of heart. That's what it takes. And uh, I want to thank all my friends and family for coming out here, making the trek. Joe, everybody go see Joe Rogan, man, live. He's awesome. Uh, I want to thank everyone in my camp, too. They're the best. From down the line, my brother Jason, Joey, Danny Gilbert, Alex Trujillo, John Garecki. Um, man, it's, I just want to thank the UFC, for Tita Brothers and Lorenzo for putting on a good show. And uh, we'll get them next time, guys. Clay, you never win, lose, or draw. You're never in a dull fight. You've always got exciting fights. You've got tremendous heart, and we know we're going to see you again. It's always exciting to have you here, man. Clay Guida, ladies and gentlemen.